Hi guys, it's Sam. So I got a request to do teardrop shapes in silhouette and I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, there's a few different ways you can do it depending on what you want it for. Um, and I went ahead and already made a few just so you can see the different styles. I would say this one's more of a realistic teardrop look. This uh, is more for the teardrops you'd use in an Eric and Condren Life Planner. And these are just clip art teardrops that I'll show you how to do. So let's start with this big one right here on the left first, and I'm just going to make a new page so we can start fresh. So what you want to do is come up here and you want to click on draw an ellipsis. And I like to make mine perfect circles. And in case you don't know this, you can hold down shift while you're drawing your circle. I'm holding it down right now. And when you draw it, it makes a perfect circle. You can't make an oval or anything. So make it however big you want. And then we're going to come up here to edit points and make sure you have your circle selected and you're going to grab this point at the very top of your circle and just drag it straight up into a kind of cone shape. Now this part you're going to take this purple little square on the end, it doesn't matter which side, uh, whichever one you have a preference for, and you want to turn it and this is going to bend the line in. And don't worry about bending it too much. I, I know that the right side of it looks a little funky right now. We can go back and fix that. But however much of a dip you want on your little teardrop. So I like it right there. And that looks weird right now. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to fix it. So you're going to come back up here to edit points again. And you are going to add a point somewhere along this. And you just kind of want to click it and drag it out to kind of make it a little bit fuller looking and not so sunken in. So I think that looks a little bit better. And I don't know if you guys can see that very clearly on the camera. So I am just going to make that line a little bit thicker to show you. So here is teardrop number one. And you can go ahead and save this and use it as a template for when you need to make them again. So I'm going to go back and show you what teardrop number two looks like. And it's this one you can use in your Erin Condren planner. And let's go ahead and make that one. I'm just going to start up a new page again. And this one's a little bit easier, I think, because if you, if you don't always do this one right, you, you might be playing with it for a little bit before you get exactly what you want. So again, we're going to click on our um, ellipse tool. And you're going to hold shift down to make a perfect circle again. And then you're going to come up here to draw a rectangle, and you're just going to make a rectangle somewhere over it. We can fix it later. So now what we want to do is make sure the edges line up. So you want this bottom edge. Let me zoom in. You want this bottom edge right here to line up perfectly with the edge of the circle so you can't tell that there's a gap. And right now it's round here, and then it juts out flat. So we want to move this down just a little bit. We kind of want it to be a straight line, and then it goes straight into the curve so you can't tell that there's a gap. That looks pretty good. And we want to do the same thing up here. So I'll just shrink that a little bit. And we're going to bring this side in until it is completely even with that curve. That looks pretty good, too. All right, let's zoom back out and look at it. So then you're going to highlight both of those and you're going to come down here into the corner and there is a weld button and you're going to go ahead and click that and it's going to weld both shapes together and make it seamless so you just have one shape. And if it, this isn't the way you want it to be facing, you can come always come over here to, you can mirror it if you wanted to or you can always rotate it too and you can flip it and rotate certain degrees. So you guys can play around with that. Here, I'll make it a little bit darker so you can see it more clearly. And that's that teardrop. And our last one are these clip art looking teardrops over here on the far right. So what I did for this is I actually went on to Google and I found clip art teardrops. So I just went in and I Googled raindrop clip art and I picked this one because I thought it looked kind of cool. And I just right click and I saved save image as and save it wherever you want on your computer. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go up here to file and you're going to go to import and import to library. And wherever you have that saved, I made a, a folder called tutorial images and put it there. 
So click on wherever you have it in your computer and hit OK, and that's going to put it in your own library. And then you're going to go back up to File, and you're going to go to Library, and you're going to open it. And double click on it, and that'll bring it in. And now you have your image in Silhouette. So the next step for this is tracing it. And you're going to come up here to this top toolbar and open the trace window. And make sure you select Select Trace Area and just draw a big box around that. So the next step is to come down to High Pass Filter. And what this does is it makes it really yellow. Um, the more you have this on here, the more it's going to get rid of the edges until it's completely filled. For this purpose, um, we're just going to be cutting out the outside of it, but you don't want to fill this in too much if you're just trying to trace around the outside edge and you want to cut something out in the middle. So for this, we don't need it very thick, and you're just going to come up here to trace outer edge. And what that did is it just put a cut line around the edge. So you can go ahead and you can delete that image, and now you have your teardrops. So these are the ways that I... Um, I make teardrops. Um, I hope it's helpful for you guys, and if you have any more suggestions for other videos, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks!